So we're back in the vet, and uh, like always, we got some random stuff going on. So it looks like the oil pressure sensor is out. So got to go get another one of those and see how wild it's going to be to put this thing in. So here we go. All right, what up, y'all? So uh, welcome back. Uh, as you know, it's a vet day. So I got this new oil pressure sensor and this oil pressure socket so time to figure out how to get this old one out and it's a couple ways one way was to remove the whole intake which you know you'd have to remove all of that and then undo all of this take the whole intake off buy new gaskets and all of that and the sensor is like behind it and the other way is buy you a u-joint socket which is it's in one of these cars uh yeah left it in there so i gotta get some keys but uh yeah and you reach around and you can kind of get to it barely uh i might have to take these fuel rails off i'm gonna see if i can get to it without taking them off but the sensor is on the driver's side behind here so it's way back there uh hard to see uh i can't even see it but i'm kind of just gonna feel for it but i don't have the the thickest hands so i should be able to reach in there and kind of feel around and unplug this thing so let's see if we can uh if we can get this stuff up all right so got my ratchet got my extension got my u-joint and we got this socket. This is a one and one sixteenth, I believe. Uh, the other size would be a, uh, yeah, there you go. One and one sixteenth. Can you see that? There we go. Uh, this is, yeah. So you get that, or I think a 27 millimeter fits. And I didn't have a 27 millimeter, so random stick bug. But, uh, yeah, so that's what you need, and uh, I'm going to see if I can reach back here and unplug it first. If you haven't seen one, this is what we're replacing. So it's got a weird little three-prong deal in there, but I'm going to see if I can unplug that. And uh, once I get it unplugged, I should be able to get this... Uh, Get this socket in here and get this pulled off. So, in the process of working and YouTubing at the same time, uh, what the videos I've been watching are not showing is this little tube which connects to the uh, the valve cover on this side, right here, and comes all the way across and connects on this side right here. That piece is right here and it's in the way. So I'm taking it loose on that side, taking it loose over here, and I'm just gonna pull that out the way. And I think once that's out the way, I'll be able to actually reach in this gap to get to this sensor, but nobody else seemed to mention that part. So I'm gonna get that out the way and uh, hopefully that'll free up some space. Quick update, this is probably the worst idea I ever had, but uh, yeah, I really can't even get you in there. There you go. All right, so I finally got this plug off. Ended up getting an old clothes hanger, bending it because the part you got, the tab was on the back side. So I had to drop this in, kind of hook onto the latch like that, pull it up, and then stick my right hand in here and grab the wires and pull it. So I got it loose. Uh, let's see if I can get this in here, which is looking like I can't, but. The sensor is down here and back a little bit. So, super weird spot. Uh, there we go. You can see it a little bit. Yeah, there it is. So, I got the plug off. Now it's time to drop this big socket in here and hope this stuff reach. But, yeah. Oh, took this a loose slid it under and poured it that way so that connects to that 
valve cover on that side and then the other side comes all the way up here so i didn't disconnect this but i kind of just pull that over that way and pull this up above the intake and out that way so that'll give me a little bit more room to reach in there because this was like right above the sensor so like i said probably the worst idea i ever had with this car so far uh but i mean technically you can reach it but you probably better off taking this intake off but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and try to get this old one out drop the new one in and hopefully my gauges work after this so i've been sliding my phone in here for a, a flashlight i need to get me another flashlight but anyway i got this piece in here and once it's on uh it's actually pretty easy to turn so Shouldn't be that bad to get out and then dropping the new one in. I'm just going to drop it in by hand and see if I can twist it a little bit and then get the socket back on it and tighten it down like that. All right, so the old sender, oil sender is out. Uh, the new one is getting ready to go in. Uh, like I thought, once you got the socket on, it comes out pretty easy. So we're going to see if I can drop this in just as easy as the old one came out. And... Yeah, I'm just going to drop it in by hand first, see if I can find it, and uh, then we're going to tighten this up. So, yeah, you can see where we're trying to get to. That little shiny spot. Right there. So, you know the joke where you drop something under the hood of the car, and then you don't hear it? the sound of the part hitting the ground. That's kind of where we're at. So I am missing the new oil pressure sensor, which is behind the engine somewhere. So I'm just gonna sit down and think about this for a minute and see if I can either find it back there and reach it, or if I'm just gonna get another one and hope this one rolls out one day and then go return it. So back in a minute all right so fast forward some minutes i can't see where the new one went and i dropped the old one back there some sort of way so it's looking like a day to take this intake off and clean it so we're getting this intake off uh i still got i think it's like a coolant line or something to the throttle body still gotta get that off but i'm getting all these bolts out the way and uh i'll figure that out when i get there but yeah our job turned into an all-day job, but, you know, life happens. So, about to get this off, and then I'm going to at least, while this is off, I can clean everything up to kind of match the valve cover since they look a little cleaner since uh, I had to change those gaskets uh, a few months back. So, at least everything will look clean once I'm done, but, yeah, a lot of unnecessary work. All right, so, intake is off. Uh, this actually was nowhere near as hard as I thought it was going to be. So realistically, I probably should have did this from the jump because this is where the sensor would be and I can just put my hand in there like like it's nothing. So put the flash back on. Yeah, so I should have just took this intake off the first time. It's possible to change that plug without taking the intake off, but seeing how it's not that hard to get this off in the first place is really worth the extra couple minutes to just take it off so now i gotta see if i can find the sensor that i bought that fell back there somewhere if i can find it go ahead put it in plug it up uh put this intake back on uh, i'm probably gonna run to the store and something else uh get some new gaskets for this drop that back on and then uh yeah, the sensor will be fixed. I have new gaskets. This will be cleaned up because this looks a little bad. And probably it's the O2, so it probably really hadn't been off <laughs> in a long time. So, yeah. <sighs> it's been a day. Oh, intake over here. So, uh, coolant line went in here. This had to come off. Uh, this coolant line connected to the steam thing or whatever that was connected to each head so it had to come off on that part uh sensor here 
here are those plugs had to come off this was hooked into the valve cover on the passenger side so that's off uh just unhook this so that's whatever that is like a fuel pressure or something uh there's a plug on the back that had to come loose and this plugs up to the brake booster so i just unhooked it on that side and just lifted it out so all of this is off and uh yeah time to clean this thing because it's a little messy so yeah after some fighting and some digging i was finally able to poke this thing out with uh with that clothes hanger that i was trying to grab it with last time but i got it out uh where is it like i said there is the hole for it so we just gonna hand tighten this like this so much easier than trying to wiggle around and squeeze through there's no space and all of that so yeah i can tighten this i'm gonna go ahead and plug it up while it's in here that way i don't have to do anything weird and then i can clean this stuff up and put this intake manifold back on and be done with this project so like i said it's possible to do it without taking off the intake manifold, but I really would just rather take it off. Like, if I had to do it again, I would definitely just take this off from the beginning and be done with this real quick. So, that's my thoughts on it. So, let me go ahead and tighten this up and uh, put the, all of this back together and make sure this thing still runs. That was loud, my bad. Uh, but... The good thing about dropping stuff is I get to use stuff that I hadn't uh, used yet. So this little jack and puck goes in here. She's got the little oval shape. So that goes up. You twist it. It's in place. It gives you a nice spot to uh, put the jack on. So that's one something. But uh, I got to break these out again next week because I got some new brakes coming in. Some... Uh, Drill and slided rotors and some ceramic, I think, pads for this. So, gonna switch all of that up uh, next week. But, good to see this uh, in action and they work pretty good. So, just time to let this down and crank it up and make sure everything still works. Alright, so everything is back together. So, we're gonna crank this up, give it a test, and hopefully. Nothing is wrong. Ugh. All right, well, at least it didn't move when you put the key in. I gotta get an oil change too. But the sensor is working, so that's a plus. <laughs> 